Hi, Minister. You mentioned there will be consequences, and the Premier also said the same thing. Uh, what will those consequences be? So, for example, on uh, the ferry, you could be, uh, you know, denied your uh, denied your booking. But as announced today, there will be a fine. There is a fine, the potential of a fine, uh, for five hundred and seventy-five dollars. Camille, do you have a follow-up? Yes, thank you. We know that most people haven't paid their fines so far uh, for other infractions during the pandemic. What makes you think that this is going to be a deterrent? Well. Um, First off, uh, we do uh, live in a, a democracy where people do have administrative fairness when it comes to, to fines. So people do have the ability to fight uh, and dispute uh, a ticket that they receive. The way the current process works is if after 30 days you've not disputed the ticket, you are deemed to be guilty. And then that is forwarded to a, a collection agency uh, for follow up and collection. I have also indicated that it is my intention within the next few weeks, uh, we're currently in session, that I will be uh, introducing legislation that will allow for further uh, 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 debt collection uh, measures to be taken to ensure that all fines that are, that are issued under COVID-19 will in fact be collected and paid.